I'm attorney Justin Ziegler of Jay-Z Helps, a Florida injury law firm. Today I'm going to talk about whether getting surgery in your auto accident case or any other case will increase your settlement value. Surgery may get you more money, and I'm using the word may because there's no guarantee at all. Zero. There's a chance that getting surgery won't get you more money. Today I'm going to talk about the three different scenarios where surgery may get you more money or may not get you more money. The most common situation where surgery may get you more money is if you have clear liability. That means the person that caused your accident was 100% responsible for causing your accident. The most common example of that is a rear-end car accident. The rear-end car accident is the most common situation where surgery may get you more money, but this assumes that the outfall driver, the driver that caused your accident, said, I was at fault, I hit you, or he tells his insurance company, I shouldn't have been speeding, I wasn't paying attention, I hit you. Now, in order for surgery to have a higher chance of getting you more money, and when I say getting you more money, I'm referring to the net settlement. That means after your case settles, having after you pay your attorney's fees, if you hire an attorney, or paying all your medical bills and other expenses. In order for surgery to get you more money, or have a higher chance of getting you more money in an accident case, Generally, the injuries that you're having surgery for need to be 100% related to the auto accident or other accident or very close to it. Now, proving that your injuries were 100% related to the accident, it's much easier to prove that if you have a fracture, a bone break, as opposed to neck pain or back pain or even a tear in many instances. One of the other circumstances where you, surgery may lead to a higher net settlement for you is if there is enough insurance to pay your claim. In Florida, in many car accidents, one of the major problems is drivers are very underinsured and often uninsured. That means they have no liability insurance that will pay for your injuries. I'm gonna talk about an example of an actual case that I settled where surgery increased the amount of money that my client got in her pocket. Now we'll call my client Maria, that's not her real name, and we'll call the truck driver who caused the accident Peter. Maria was driving straight and Peter hit her vehicle from behind. Now, Maria was diagnosed with a herniated disc in her lower back. Peter had $100,000 of insurance. Now, we sent that information to Liberty Mutual, who was the insurance company for Peter. And I said before that Florida juries typically, and when I say typically, I mean by going back and looking at past jury verdicts, have awarded in the past $25,000 to $50,000 for the pain and suffering component of a herniated disc. Now Liberty Mutual's offer was $4,500 and this is before Maria had surgery. For purposes of this, Maria's medical bills were $5,000, she had $300 in lost wages, and we'll assign $30,000 to the pain and suffering component of her herniated disc. But I already said Liberty Mutual offered $4,500. And I arrived at that by just using the settlement formula of the settlement equals out-of-pocket medical bills plus lost wages that you weren't paid plus pain and suffering. Why did Liberty Mutual only offer $4,500 for Maria's injury, even though I said the value of for pain and suffering component of a herniated disc is worth a lot more than $4,500 if you're looking at past Florida jury verdicts for herniated discs. Well, Liberty Mutual used the arguments that we hear in many cases saying the herniated disc was pre-existing based on my client's age, the impact wasn't that hard, it couldn't have caused a herniated disc, and Liberty Mutual, unfortunately, as of right now, is just an average uh, insurer in terms of playing paying for personal injury claims. Another one of the difficulties in a car accident case in Florida, and many car accident cases such as Maria's, is Liberty Mutual knows that Maria would have to prove that the herniated disc she has is permanent. It's a permanent injury. So she would need a doctor to say that, which the doctor in her case did say. And typically Liberty Mutual will hire a doctor who will likely say the herniated disc is not a permanent injury and it was not related to the accident. I didn't make a counter offer to Liberty Mutual's offer of $4,500. We stuck at our $100,000 demand. That's because Maria was still getting medical treatment. When then a doctor recommended surgery that Maria have surgery to her lower back. At this point, Liberty Mutual still did not increase their offer of 4,500. They wanted me to come off my demand and lower our demand. I said no. But once Maria went through with the lower back surgery, it's called a percutaneous 
discectomy. It's actually about lower back surgery that juries norm usually award lower pain and suffering amounts than, for, than, let's say, like a lower back fusion or something like that. But Liberty Mutual nevertheless paid the $100,000 limits. Now, why did Liberty Mutual pay the $100,000 limits? The reason why Liberty Mutual paid the $100,000 limits is liability was clear. Like I said earlier on, there was a rear-end accident and their truck driver admitted fault. It wasn't too difficult to prove that Maria's injury was either caused or related to the accident because the impact was actually decent, although insurance companies like to argue otherwise sometimes. Now in this case, the $100,000 that Liberty Mutual paid was enough to cover the additional costs that having surgery cost to Maria. So in this case, Maria's net settlement, again, after paying me her attorney's fees, after paying her medical bills, it paid to have surgery. In not every case are you going to get more money just because you had surgery. For example, if we take the same case that we just took, and let's say Peter, instead of having $100,000 of bodily injury liability insurance, only had $10,000 or even $25,000. In that case, Maria may not have benefited by having surgery because even though Liberty Mutual would have paid the $10,000 or $25,000, her medical bills due to having surgery, because surgery is expensive, would have gone up a lot and her settlement would have been much smaller so the medical bills would have eaten a lot of the settlement money so Maria may actually not have benefited if Peter had limited insurance now just don't take my word for it that surgery has a historically increases the value of a personal injury claim Zurich insurance who's one of the largest insurance companies in the world and in the United States actually did a study and one of the things that they said was surgery is one of the biggest reasons that affects their claim costs the amount of money that they pay out so I think you get the point. All things equal, and there's no guarantee at all that you'll get a penny for your case, but all things equal, surgery increases the settlement value of a case. That means if you take 100 cases with no surgery, where someone else caused someone's injury, and 100 cases with surgery, the 100 cases with surgery will typically be worth more. Let's take a look at some of my past settlements just to show you how surgery increased the value of the claim. If you look at my past settlements, one of the things you're gonna notice, every single larger settlement that I have had, surgery was involved. For example, this is the truck of the truck driver who caused my client's lower leg fracture and he had surgery. The case settled for $445,000. Why did the insurance company who is now AIG pay so much money? Because my client had surgery. Another case of mine involved a pedestrian who was my client who was hit in Coconut Grove in Miami-Dade County, Florida. A car went right into him while my client was placing a parking ticket inside his car and hit him, which resulted in a lower leg fracture and surgery, immediate emergency surgery at the hospital. The case ultimately settled for $325,000, but the only reason or the main reason it settled for $325,000 is because my client had surgery. Again, in this case, the other car was wholly at fault. The other car's actions, the negligent driver, caused my client's lower leg fracture and he had surgery, which drove up the total medical bills and my client's pain and suffering. I had another case that I settled for $300,000, and this is actually my client. The picture was taken while he was on the floor after he slipped and fell in a liquid, or what we claimed was a liquid substance at the supermarket. Prior to the accident, he had an Achilles tendon surgery, unrelated to the case. But after the accident, he had to have two skin revisions, skin surgeries that we argued were related to the accident. And again, the only reason why a lot out of this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please like this video. I'm Justin Ziegler. You can call me at 